tayo ng masaral Sa mas walang maiiwan At sayang mataral tayo ng mas tuto Upang ikaw yung asenso Maging matyaga, maging matalino Halina mataral na tayo Welcome to Project SOAR, series of online academic reviews of Mathematics Clay Learning Modules, Quarter 4, Week 4. Hello kids and home learning partners! Welcome to another day of fun, fruitful, and interesting lessons in Mathematics 5. This is Sir Larry Doblon from Ilaya Barangka Integrated School and your teacher along with your Math 5 Week 4 Clay Learning Module. Halinat mataral, tayo na at matuto. Our lesson for Week 4 Module 4 is about reading and measuring temperature. And at the end of the session, you are expected to read and measure temperature using thermometer in degrees Celsius and solve routine and non-routine problems involving temperature in real-life situation. Reading and measuring temperature using thermometer in degrees Celsius. What is temperature? Temperature is the hotness or coldness of an object. It can be expressed in degrees Celsius. The device that is used to measure the temperature is called thermometer. The thermometer was developed over time. The idea of measuring temperature started in AD 170 by a Greek scientist and physician, Galen. In 1953, renowned scientist Galileo Galilei developed the thermoscope. This device can show the difference in temperature. But this is the thermometer without scale. Several decades later, Italian inventor Santorio Santorio placed a scale in Galileo's invention and it was used to take human temperature. From then on, the device was further developed and become more accurate and user-friendly. This is a mercury thermometer. This thermometer has two important elements, the scale and the temperature sensor. The temperature sensor is the bulb, while the scale tells the temperature. The two common liquid inside the scale goes up and down as the temperature changes. The fluid inside the thermometer are alcohol and mercury. Let us use this thermometer in degrees Celsius. The freezing point of water is 0 degrees Celsius and the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. 20 degrees Celsius is a room temperature while negative 10 degrees Celsius is a cold day. 37 degrees Celsius is a normal body temperature. In reading temperature, Locate the last line and the red color inside the thermometer. So in this thermometer, the actual temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. Let's do this activity. What is the temperature being shown in this thermometer? 
Press your answer in degree Celsius. What is your answer? Yes, you are right. The answer is 0 degrees Celsius. Another example. What is your answer? Express your answer in degrees Celsius. Very good. Your answer is 24 degrees Celsius. Another example. Again, express your answer in degrees Celsius. What is your answer? Alright, the answer is 41 degrees Celsius. Nowadays, the common thermometer being used is the digital thermometer. This thermometer is very easy to use. Just press this button to on and then place the thermometer sensor to the place where you want to take the temperature for example your underarm then just wait you can hear a sound when it is done then you can now read the temperature in this thermometer the temperature is 36.8 degrees celsius then after reading the temperature you will now press this button again to turn off. Let us now move to our next lesson. Solving routine and non-routine problems involving temperature in real life situation. Alexa boiled the meat that she need for her recipe and she let it cool for 15 minutes. Then she measured the temperature and got 75 degrees Celsius. How many degrees did the meat temperature decrease after boiling? How will you solve the problem? Yes, you are right. We are going to use the four step plan. First, we are going to understand the problem. We should know what is asked. So, what is asked in this problem? Very good! In this problem, it is asking for the degrees of decrease of meat temperature after cooling. Know the given facts. So, what are the given facts? The given facts are 75 degrees Celsius which is the temperature after a few minutes of cooling and the boiling point which is 100 degrees celsius we already understand the problem so what is the next step very good the next step is we are going to make a plan determine the operation or the formula to be used so what is your answer fantastic we are going to do subtraction and our number sentence is 100 degrees Celsius minus 75 degrees Celsius is equal to n The next step is we are going to solve. Show the solution using the formula. So let's carry out for the solution. Let's solve for the answer. 100 degrees Celsius minus 75 degrees Celsius is equal to 25 degrees Celsius. So for the final step, we are going to check and look back. Check your answer or state your answer. So therefore, the meat temperature was decreased by 25 degrees Celsius after boiling point. And that's it for today's lesson. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, 
feel free to leave a message to our official Facebook page, Math Teams, Mathematics Teachers Association of Mandaluyong, or send a message to your mathematics teacher.